Turn On The Bright Lights is the debut studio album by the American rock band Interpol, released in August 2002. The album was recorded in November 2001 at Tarkin Studios in Connecticut, and was co-produced, mixed and engineered by Peter Curtis and Gareth Jones. It was released on August 19, 2002 in the United Kingdom and August 20 in the United States, through independent record label Matador Records. Upon release, the record peaked at number 101 on the UK Albums Chart. It reached number 158 on the Billboard 200 in the United States, as well as spending 73 weeks in the Billboard Independent Albums, peaking at number 5. PDA, NYC, Obstacle 1, and Say Hello to the Angels were the singles from Turn on the Bright Lights, and a video was shot for each with the exception of Say Hello to the Angels. The album was certified gold by the RIAA on August 29, 2011 for shipments of 500,000 copies. A remastered version of the album was released in 2012 to commemorate its 10th anniversary. It featured additional material including demo recordings of several tracks, the bonus songs previously available on international releases and a DVD of live performances and music videos. Promotion and Release the release of Turn on the Bright Lights was preceded by the marketing of the band's self-titled Interpol EP in June 2002, their first release for Matador. The EP contained three tracks, radio single PDA, future single NYC, and Specialist. All three tracks later appeared on the album, with Specialist included as a bonus track in Australian and Japanese editions. Further promotion continued at the beginning of the following year when the band played the 2003 NME Awards tour alongside the Datsuns, the Polyphonic Spree and the Thrills. Critical reception, upon its initial release, Turn On The Bright Lights received a score of 81 out of 100 from Metacritic based on 21 reviews, indicating universal acclaim. Michael Chermy of the Austin Chronicle drew favorable comparisons between the band and a number of acts, citing melodic Peter Hook-like bass lines. The Divine Shoegazer Textures of My Bloody Valentine and Ride. A Peppy, Strokes Like Bounce. And a singer who's a dead ringer for Ian Curtis. Noel Murray of the AV Club stated that the band's virtue lies in the way its music unfolds from pinched openings to wide open codas. Billboard wrote that Interpol had created a homage to their particular vision of the 80s that stands proudly alongside the best of its idols. Scottswood, writing in the Village Voice. Likewise gave Turn On The Bright Lights a favorable review and said of Interpol, if I like them because they remind me of eating bad bathtub mescaline in the woods and listening to Cure singles, well, that'll do. You might like them for completely different reasons. Q was less complimentary of Turn On The Bright Lights, describing it as predictably claustrophobic listening in a three-star review of the album. Robert Criscoll assigning the album as Dud of the Month in his Consumer Guide column for The Village Voice, felt that comparisons to Joy Division were too kind of an assessment for the band, whom he felt exemplify and counsel disengagement, self-seeking, a luxurious cynicism. Turn on the Bright Lights gained so much critical success that not only was it hailed as one of best debuts of 2002, but is considered by some to be one of the best records of the decade. Turn on the Bright Lights is widely regarded as one of the most influential records of the decade. Turn on the Bright Lights made several critics' top ten lists of 2002. The OA Euro No. 1, Michael Azarad a Euro No. 1, Chris Baldwin a Euro No. 10, Greg Beats a Euro No. 2, Eric Broom a Euro No. 8, Dana Berni Conti a Euro No. 5, Nick Catucci a Euro No. 6, Paul Clements a Euro No. 4, Dave Clifford a Euro No. 4, Ethan Covey a Euro No. 8, Corey Dubrow a Euro No. 8, Cindy Elliott a Euro No. 7, Norm Elrod a Euro No. 3, John L. Sasser a Euro No. 7, the rest of the list is located at The Village Voice. Accolades Track listing, all songs written and composed by Interpol. Equals bonus tracks on Australian edition equals, specialist a Euro 639 equals bonus tracks on Japanese edition equals, two different versions exist. One version has the following bonus tracks, Interlude a Euro 102, Specialist a Euro 639, the other version has the following bonus tracks, Hands Away, 
Obstacle 2, PDA, NYC, Obstacle 1. Equals bonus tracks on Mexican edition equals, interlude a Euro 102, specialist a Euro 639, PDA, NYC, Obstacle 1. Personnel, Paul Banks a Euro lead vocals, guitar, Daniel Kessler a Euro guitar, backing vocals, Carlos D.A. Euro bass, keyboards, Samuel Fogarino a Euro drums, percussion. Chart performance. Certifications. References. External links. Turn on the bright lights at Metacritic.